thinking about? What you thinking about? What you thinking about? What you thinking about? What up, y'all, DC Fango guy? So, something that's been on my mind basically since the first time I ever listened to the Underground Avengers EP was the dope concept that could be. Now, this this concept, this idea, it, it kind of got uh, it kind of got let down. Back in, I think, 2013, 2014. Now, I remember when Boondocks re-signed to Psychopathic Records, there was an interview conducted where he was asked if there was a, any plans to do any more Underground Avengers, and he more or less said there was no plans, and he had no interest or desire to do more. So it took this great idea, this concept that I had, and it just destroyed it. Well, that concept, that idea, obviously has been reignited now, with the announcement of the new album coming out and, and so that's what that's what's been on my mind that's what I want to share with you guys I know right now there's a lot of a lot of bullshit negative talk on underground Avengers being a ripoff from uh, super villains that m and &E is trying to rip off psychopathic again first of all if, if that's how you think or if that's what you think about underground Avengers you have no fucking clue what you're talking about you have no clue at all what the Underground Avengers is, and you really should go do research before you just start flapping shit out your mouth. The Underground Avengers, if you don't know, just to school get everybody real quick before we get back to my concept, the Underground Avengers was Boondocks, Class, and Buckshot. The original EP, this one right here, was released in 2012 when Boondocks left the label the first time. This was released through mob-style music, we're going to flip it over and show you. Mob style music right there, right there with my metal fingers pointing. And it was released in 2012. Okay? So obviously, with Boondocks being on Magic Ninja Entertainment, somebody got into talks and they decided to do more Underground Avengers and just put it out through Magic Ninja Entertainment. Case closed there. That's what's going on. Obviously, they're re-releasing this album right here with bonus tracks and everything, and it's still being released through ma uh, through mob style music. The way I understand it, it's not going to be an MNE release. It's going to be a mob style music release. So, close the little history lesson real quick. That is the Underground Avengers. If you haven't listened to them, go listen to them. If you're a fan of Boondocks, if you're a fan of Buckshot, if you're a fan of Class, it's worth checking out. If you're not a fan of any of them, it may not be for you. Just move on. Anyway, the dope idea, the dope concept when I first heard this was the awesome idea here of taking this concept of this group and building it in the same way that they have with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And that is bring in more characters, bring in other underground artists. And naturally, my thought was bring somebody in from Psychopathic Records, bring somebody in from Strange Music. Um... You know, I don't know what other underground labels are out there. Obviously, LSP, Mob Style Music, and Magic Ninja Entertainment are already now part of the Underground Avengers. But the idea was to just bring in other underground artists. Even Kung Fu Vampire. He doesn't have a label that he's signed to or backing him, but he's underground and independent as a motherfucker. I think he would be he would be a great addition to the Avengers, which you know, having Kung Fu Vampire may take away from one of the ideas that I thought would be dope. I don't know what the future is right now of the for the Underground Avengers if they're just planning to release this next album and basically be like, okay, you know, we'll sit on this for a while. I, I don't know. It's probably going to depend on how well this new album is received. But the other idea I had with the first EP being released through Mob Style, this album being released through MNE, if they don't ever add any more members to the group, I think the next album would be, I think it would be cool to see the next album released through LSP. That way it just kind of, it's it's like a trilogy. You get one from each label that the artist is from. I think that would be dope. But anyway, the, the ultimate idea that I had here, if they don't add anybody new, because I just, I think it would be cool to keep building on this concept in the same way that they do in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Keep bringing in new players and just build this group up and you know, literally just have the underground come together and just have this massive group, you know, eventually over time have so many motherfuckers in this group, like its own underground army of pharaohs kind of type shit. But uh, if they don't end up doing that and they just kind of keep it to Boondocks class and Buckshot, the other thing that I think would be cool if the artists really want to, because at one point in time, obviously, Boondocks 
wasn't feeling it. He had no desire to continue doing it. But if, if they're willing to and they want to, another dope idea I think they should do is standalone albums, Boondocks, Buckshot, Class, release their own albums kind of themed in this Underground Avengers world, if you will. Have it be some kind of a, be either a concept album or, or titled or themed around the Underground Avengers and have it tell their own little side stories in the same way you had Iron Man, the Hulk, Captain America, Thor. I guess the Hulk isn't really a good one because there was only one movie put out. But, you know, Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man all had multiple movies for them. So in the same way, have Boondocks release an EP or two that's themed towards the Underground Avengers. Buckshot, same way. Class, the same way. You know, so Boondocks releases an album. Buckshot releases an EP. You know, they release EPs. Class releases an EP. Underground Avengers album. Same thing happens again. Buckshot, Boondocks, Class, Underground Avengers. I just think that'd be so fucking dope. And, you know, have skits or something in there that adds some continuity to these albums. I just think that would be so dope. I really do. There's there's so much potential here with this group. Ultimately, I'd like to see them bring in more artists. And before, before even learning that Light was on the song Thanos and then, you know, mysteriously taken off again, Light was, was who I thought should join the Avengers from Psychopathic Records. That's who I was kind of like, you know, I think he would, I think he would be a good addition to put in there on the Underground Avengers. So, Hearing that he's not being going to be on Thanos is, is a letdown for me because I was like, you know, the, the idea of him joining it was already there. So it was like when I saw that, I was like, fuck yeah, dude, this is, this is dope, man. It's like part of my idea is coming to fruition a little bit. But obviously that's kind of, uh, it went the way it did. And there's, there's a whole other controversy behind that that I'm not even going to get into. But I just think there's so much potential here with the Underground Avengers and I don't know what the plans are for it. I hope that this next album does well. I hope the re-release does well. I plan on picking that up just because it does feature songs that weren't on there. It also has songs that were more or less Underground Avengers songs. I know uh, some of them are from the Wormwood Tour EP. Again, released in 2014. This was released through Mob Style Music. This was the tour Boondocks went on for Abaddon. So people saying that they're biting off of Psychopathic Records. Again, you don't know what you're talking about. But the, the track here, Remember Me, was released on, on this EP, as well as Don't Stop, which is supposed to be on the re-release of the Underground Avengers EP. So, uh, I, I do plan on picking up the re-release. Again, from what I understand, it is still going to be through Mob Style Music. So, if, if none of my other great ideas of releasing these little albums and then put out an Underground Avengers album, or bringing in... Um, other artists and keep building up that that group into something massive so it can truly be like the underground Avengers if none of that comes to fruition then I at least would like I think it would at least be cool to see a third album come out complete a trilogy if you will have it be released through LSP just to kind of bring everybody into fold and, and bring that unity in a way I guess you could say but these are just these are just ideas that I've had and I wanted to share them because I'm sure there are other fans out there I know Right now, again, a lot of people are kind of talking trash on him, but that, that's expected with with beef and drama and bullshit. That's just that's just the nature of the juggler world right now. So, um, for everybody that is a fan of the Underground Avengers, tell me what you think down below. Let me know if you think these ideas are great. If you'd like to see them happen, because I just I don't know. I just ever since I first listened to that EP, I thought you know this there's a there's a great idea here. Like they've got to do something with this. And then obviously it went away and now it's coming back again. So I'm excited. I'm fucking excited for this. And, you know, the controversy is why I wanted to go ahead and push this out. The original idea was to drop this video simultaneously with my review for this album because I've never dropped my review for this. And I don't know why. I don't know why I never dropped my review for this. So that review will be coming very soon as well as the re-release as well as the next album. I believe it's called Anomaly. So leave your thoughts down below. Tell me what you think. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.